back to my channel so in today's video oh my gosh this is an exciting video actually very exciting this is actually a collaboration you guys but the one and only Brianna Marie if you guys don't know her like do you live on a rock or something because she's like the no like she's so good when it comes to makeup and like oh she's amazing she's bomb like she's the person that I want I want to get as good as she is someday because she's so so good um Follow her on Instagram, I'm going to find Instagram down below, and I know you're already subscribed to her because, you know, but just in case you're not, I'm going to leave a, like, a link to her video down below so you can subscribe to her, but she collaborated with all of us, not just me, but a, a whole bunch of us to, um, okay, so our theme was like a Barbie theme, like a Barbie pinkish makeup. I didn't know what to do, so I just kind of did this, I came up with this. It's pretty cool. I'm just, you guys, I'm a neutral girl, okay? I'm like, it's so hard for me to come out of my comfort zone. I mean, I know I play with gold and everything, but when it comes to, like, pinks and stuff, I, I'm I'm really trying, okay? I'm trying. Like, I don't even have any colorful palettes. The only one I have is that is the NYX that I used in the video, the NYX palette that I used in the video. That's the only colorful palette I have. But anyway, you guys, this is so exciting. Like, I'm so happy, like, she chose me to collab, and I'm just so grateful. She's so, she has a really good heart. She's amazing. She's talented. She's beautiful. She's just bomb, okay? She is bomb. So thank you so much, Brianna, for um, collaborating with me and all of us on this video. Um, but yeah, you guys, I want to stop talking. Um, and if you guys want to see how I got this look, this pinkish Barbie look, then of course keep on watching. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button down below. If you enjoyed this whole look, please um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And, uh, not subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know if you like this look. And until next time, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so jumping right into the video, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Primer to prime my face. And then I'm going to use my Makeup Magnesia. Um, this is actually for your stomach, but I used to use this a very long time ago, and now I just got back into it because before when I used to use it, it broke me out a lot, and then now, like when I use it, it's actually not breaking me out anymore, so that's what I'm using, and you don't want to put too much. I did put too much, and now my foundation kind of looks flaky. You don't want to put a lot of that. Just put a little bit, um, but I, I did put too much. But anyway, for foundation, I use my Maybelline Superstay Foundation. You guys, if you have not tried that foundation... You need that foundation in your life. It's really, really good. It's very full coverage. Everyone keeps saying it's a very close to to Huda Beauty's foundation. It's just amazing. I love it so much. And it's very mattifying too. But anyway, I went in and I filled in my brows with Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Pomade. And I primed my eye um, my eyelids with the concealer. And now I'm just in the, what is this? This is the um, NYX Ultimate Palette, the colorful one. And I just grabbed that pink shade as my um, transition color. You guys, when we decided to do a Barbie theme for this look, for this um, collaboration, like I was so nervous because I don't have any colorful palettes except for that one. And I was just like, well, what am I going to do? But anyway, I ended up using it. Like I'm not the kind of, I don't play with colors a lot, even though I'm really trying to get into playing with colors. Like I, did, I even went ahead and I ordered, I ordered the Morphe 35B palette. So I'm really excited for it to come. I went into my um, masquerade palette and I grabbed that really purple shade. I'm just using that to deepen the crease a little bit more. But anyway, yeah, I'm excited for the 35B palette to get to me because I want to start playing a lot with color and stuff. And it's getting to spring, so it's like colorful season. So I'm really excited for the palette. And the brushes I'm using is the um, Fusto Sense brushes. They're actually really good and they're very, very affordable. So I went into the Nubian 2 palette and I grabbed that purple shade and I'm going to use that to deepen up my crease. But yeah, the um, what am I saying? But yeah, look at my foundation, you guys. See how flaky it is? That's because I put so much of the makeup magnesia. I put way too much. I don't know why I did that, but um, I mean, of course, I learned my lesson. I don't put that much anymore. You don't want to put that much. I mean, it's, I just started using it again. I used to use it like years and years back and I just started using it again. So I'm trying to, you know figure it out but anyway for my cutting cutting my crease and this is in my concealer and this brush you guys I've heard so many good things about using paint brush to cut your crease and I want to get that I want to get a paint brush to start cutting my crease with because everyone keeps saying that it's better to cut your crease with a paint brush so I'm going to go to my crease today and get me a paint brush <laughs> but with my lid color I'm just using um 
one of the colors in the palette as my lip color um, I just packed that on like I said you guys I didn't know what I was doing with this look I was really really nervous <laughs> so yeah I'm just packing that color on I'm using another custard brushes um Crystal Sense brushes <laughs> and I'm back into the Nubian Sip palette with the same color that I used to deepen up the crease and I'm just gonna use that to um you know blend everything in together and then I went into the NYX glitter primer and I'm just gonna use a little tiny brush like a pencil brush to kind of like draw a line at the beginning of the part that I cut my crease so that line right there I'm gonna use the glitter primer to kind of like pretty much draw a line like a liner because I'm gonna go back in with glitter and the glitter that I'm using is a bulk glitter that I got off of Amazon for really good price I think I got like 30 I should I um I <clears throat> I got 30 glitters for like 14 or 15 bucks it was really good and the prime the um, glitters are actually pretty good so um yeah so that's what I'm doing I'm just using that same brush to kind of like do that this is actually my first time doing this step you guys I'm telling you the, the last time I did something like this I used a liner like that was already like a glitter liner so me trying to actually create my own glitter glitter line this is the first time I'm doing it so I mean I know it looks a little bit messy but it's my first time you know caught me some slack <laughs> but um yeah it looks pretty good but anyway now I'm back in with my NYX liquid liner and I'm just doing that to wing so drama wings. I love lining my eyes with like I love those dramatic ass wings. Okay, I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna have to cut that out. But anyway, I love dramatic lines, um dramatic dramatic eyeliners. It's just fun. So now for lashes I use the Coco lashes in the style Venice and that's what I use for my lashes. I love these lashes you guys. And for concealer I'm using my concealer um, my M, what is this? So the ColourPop concealer in the number 70. This concealer, you guys have already ripped about this. I can't keep, I can't, I don't know. It's just amazing. I keep talking about how amazing it is and how if you haven't gotten it, you need to get it. It's $26, but the quality of this stuff is amazing. I love it so, so much, and I use it one at a time. So if you haven't gotten it yet, you need to get your hands on it. So anyway, I just use my beauty blender to kind of blend everything out and just kind of, um, you know, make everything look really blended out. And now for my powder, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm actually out of it. Like I, kept, I have to like keep scraping into the thing to get powder out. Like I'm out. I need to get another one. But that's what I'm using to um, bake my face. And then for my powder, I use my L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte Powder as my face powder and I also use it to dust off the concealer powder and to contour I'm using my Alter um, contour kit I'm using the darkest shade as you guys can see I'm in love with that palette I actually already hit pan which is like you know that's how much I love the palette it's just bomb so yeah you need to get it if you don't have it already so um, now I'm just kind of cleaning up like a reverse contour and cleaning up the contour that I already did this step is actually really crucial like if you don't do this you need to start doing it because it literally makes your face look snatched so always clean it up when you're done um, kind of bronzing up your face or contouring anyway now I'm just grabbing one of the colors I used to dip in my crease to kind of line my waterline you know to smoke out my waterline and I'm using a stippling brush to um, dust off that powder for blush I'm using a MAC raising blush you guys have had this blush for years like five years if possible and I'm still using it. I think it's is it expired. Let me know if it expired because I don't know why I keep using it. I mean, it's still good, but it, I've had it for a very long time. But that's the blush I used. And for highlighter, I'm using my Milani Strobe Light in the color Glowing. You guys already know this is my favorite highlighter ever. I use it all the time and I love it so much. It's all I use and it's just it's bomb.com. So that's what I used for my highlighter. And I'm also using the same highlighter to um, highlight my inner tip up. So yeah and then i'm just using um a paper towel no that was like a napkin or something i'm using that to clean my lips and i took off all the foundation and now i'm gonna line my lips with the color pop um lippy pencil in the color peach this is my favorite lip liner ever for like new lipsticks or any lipstick at all it's really really cool and i just really like it a lot so that's what i'm using then i went in with the nyx lip lingerie 
No, that's not the lip lingerie, right? Which one is that one? Yeah, hold on. This is a liquid, the NYS liquid suede. Yeah, I just used that on my lips. And then I went in with a lip gloss from L'Oreal. And that's pretty much it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.